GitHub Actions is my preferred CI CD solution. Over the past year, I've migrated all my projects from AWS Code Pipeline to GitHub Actions. And to this day, I'm still impressed with the user experience. However, GitHub hosted runners quickly become a huge item on GitHub's monthly bill. And that's why I will show you how to reduce costs for GitHub Actions with two tools, Octolens by Sandro and HyperEnv by Michael and me next. The pricing model of GitHub hosted runners is quite simple. You pay per build minute, depending on the size of the virtual machine and the operating system. So to cut costs, it is important to analyze your usage. And that's where Octolens comes into play. That's the Octolens dashboard with three main usage metrics at the top. The first one is billable minutes, which is the number of build minutes running on GitHub hosted runners. The second is paid minutes. So this is basically the number of included build minutes of your GitHub plan minus the billable minutes. And the third one is the total number of workflow runs. So this gives you an overview of your GitHub Actions usage. But there is even more than that. Next, you will find a list of all the repositories belonging to your organization ordered by their consumption of build minutes. So that's how you quickly identify the repositories where optimizing the CI-CD workflows has the biggest impact on cutting costs. Another approach to cut costs is to switch from GitHub hosted runners to self-hosted runners. And Michael and I created a solution to deploy self-hosted runners on AWS with ease. We call it HyperEnv for GitHub Actions Runner. It allows you to cut costs by 30%. To get started, you first need to install the GitHub app. So let me do that. I'm clicking the install button. I'm choosing a GitHub organization here. And I'm granting access to that organization. Okay, and what I get back here is an installation ID and an HyperEnv key. So I will need that for uh, setting up HyperEnv in my AWS account. The next step is to deploy HyperEnv to your AWS account. So I'm starting here from the AWS Marketplace you, where you will find HyperEnv. I'm clicking the continue to subscribe button. Then I will accept the terms and then I will continue with the configuration. So I'm selecting a CloudFormation template. I'm choosing the recommended option, with, which is a dedicated VPC, selecting the latest version, and let me deploy all of that to Europe in Frankfurt. This is the closest region to where I live. And then I click Continue to Launch. Um, then I select the Launch CloudFormation action and press the Launch button. So now I'm getting redirected to CloudFormation in my AWS account. This is an infrastructure as code service that will basically deploy the whole solution in an automated way for you. So I'm just going through that wizard. So I'm pressing next here, keeping the defaults. I'm entering a stack name, select a key pair. And here I need the information from installing the GitHub action. So let me quickly copy that. I need the installation ID. I need the hyperenv key. And um, I can keep the defaults for the rest here. Pressing the next button. Next step, there's nothing to configure here. So clicking next again. And then uh, I have to Acknowledge that this creates IAM resources and then I will submit the CloudFormation stack. So now CloudFormation deploys HyperEnv to my AWS account, which will take a few minutes. So the CloudFormation stack is now in Create Complete, which means HyperEnv has been deployed to my AWS account. And now I have to edit the CI CD workflows um, to make sure they are not running on 
GitHub hosted runners, but on Hyperend runners. So let's do that. So here is my GitHub workflow, a very simple example. Let me open that up quickly here. And instead of running it on Ubuntu latest, which is um, the GitHub hosted runner with Ubuntu, I'm now changing that to the hyperenv tag. I'm committing the changes. And now when I run the action, so let me dispatch this workflow manually. So what now happens in the background is an event is sent from GitHub to my AWS account and there hyperenv will start a new EC2 instance. So here it is, it's already running. So this is the EC2 instance that will run the build job. Back to GitHub Actions. So the job is now executing on the runner. So let me summarize all of that. I showed you two tools to cut your GitHub Actions costs, Octolens to analyze your usage and then optimize your workflows and Hyperenv to switch from GitHub hosted runners to self hosted runners. If you are interested in more details, check out the video description where you will find links to a blog post and of course links to Octolens and Hyperenv. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope this helps you to reduce your GitHub Actions costs. Bye.